Hi guys, Nimrod Villamarzo dito and today we're here to announce two violins that are currently on promotion. The Intermedio and the Avanzato Violin. Diba almost every episode parang may pa-promo si Mayor? Now both of these violins have solid Siberian spruce top, my inlaid purfling and ebony yung fingerboard niya. Ito yung purfling. They're both patterned after the 1719 Stradivarius and they both have sprayed varnish. But kuya Nimrod, Ano po ba yung pinagkaiba nila? To put it simply, mas maganda lang yung Avanzato violin. Because it has a one-piece maple back, it has naturally flamed ribs, neck, and scroll. While ang intermedio naman has a two-piece maple back, at saka plain yung ribs, neck, and scroll niya. Now, like I said earlier, these two violins are currently on promotion, and you will see the new pricing of that through this quick sound sample coming right up. Sound sample for intermedio violin. Sound sample for Avanzato violin. Now guys, this promotion is up until August 15 only. And not only that, Violin Village also accepts cash on delivery. Now if you're interested, you can message us here at the Violin Village page. Or if you're in Metro Manila, you can check the violin at V Luna, Quezon City. And you may contact our agent Neil through this number. Let's start at the very basics of violin maintenance. Cleaning after using. Guilty din po ako nito, no? When I started out kasi, nakakatamad na di ba maglinis after playing? Especially if nakikita mo naman na hindi naman gaanong karami yung rosin na na-build up sa violin, di ba? But after how many years of playing, guys, na-realize ko talaga na it all adds up. This is actually one habit na kailangan talaga natin matutunan and kailangan din natin to ma-develop as players. So, let's learn more about this from Kuya Chester, owner of Violin Village. Magandang araw ulit, mga ka-villagers natin, ka-violin villagers. Kumusta kayo? Here we are again sa ating uh, care and maintenance tips. Marami sa mga katanungan ng ating mga listeners, ating mga viewers, ay uh, paano daw i-maintain yung uh, violin? Isa sa mga questions dito, what polish should I use? Ano bang dapat na violin polish na aming bilhin para sa aming instrumento? Personally, you will uh, be surprised, I don't advise <laughs> using any violin polish on your instrument. Why? Kasi iba't ibang instrumento ay may iba't ibang klase ng varnish. May iba, plastic varnish, acrylic varnish, polyurethane, at oil varnish. Yung mga violins namin and uh, some other professional violins are being varnished with oil. Yung oil, napaka-sensitive po niyan. 
Alam natin na may mga binibenta na made in the USA na polish for oil varnished violin. Pero let us remember na sa US, yung humidity doon ay nasa 40% lamang. Ibig sabihin, there's less chance na mag-melt yung varnish. Napakatigas ng coating. Sa Pilipinas naman, napakataas ng humidity. Minsan umabot ng 80% or 90% yung moisture sa hangin. So, ibig sabihin, there's a tendency na yung, yung varnish ay hindi siya ganun katigas dito sa Pilipinas. And if you use even yung mga commercial grade na violin varnishes, there's always a tendency na baka, baka masira yung uh, varnish ng violin ninyo pag ginamitan ninyo ng polish. May tendency na baka matuklap or mag-melt yung inyong violin varnish. So, what should you do? Every time pagkatapos ninyong gamitin yung violin, kumuha kayo ng malinis na tela, soft cloth, tawag ng iba yung flanella o yung microfiber cloth, you wipe out the excess rosin, linisan agad ninyo. Don't allow the rosin to stay for a few days or it will melt at it will become part of the varnish. Yan lang po yung tip natin for today. Ito po once again si Kuya Chester. Back to you, Kuya Nimrod. Kuya Chester, maraming salamat po. Here's like a quick parang tutorial on how to clean your violin after your practice. Now, first and foremost guys, ito yung gagawin ninyo. Make sure na may protection yung violin from the table like a towel para iwas scratches tayo sa back ng violin. Kumuha kayo ng cloth at linisin ninyo ang strings individually. Kailangan nyo ring linisin yung fingerboard at saka yung bottom part ng strings at yung top part ng strings kung saan kayo tumutugtog as well. Sa part ng fingerboard, usually na notice ko na dito nagbibuild up yung rosin, so give extra attention on this part. Now, linisan nyo rin yung top part ng violin on both sides. Make sure that you're only using gentle pressure lang guys para hindi ma-scratch yung violin. At saka yung bottom part ng fingerboard as well, kagaya nito. Don't forget yung chin rest, yung tailpiece, at yung area below the tailpiece. Usually, may mga dumi dyan eh. So, kailangan ng natin maalis yung lahat ng oil at saka dirt. Yung ribs naman ng violin, kailangan talaga you get into the nooks and crannies. But make sure that light pressure lang para hindi masyadong ma-scratch yung violin ninyo. Yung oil varnish kasi, medyo sensitive yan. Sometimes, nagli-leave talaga ng mark. On this part, kailangan nyo ring linisin kasi this part touches our neck. Now, I also clean my bow. The way I do it, I just insert the cloth there at saka dinodraw ang stick across the cloth. Make sure that you don't ever touch the hair ng bow. Comment reading section tayo ngayon. We have one from our top fan, Manuel Aveliana. Sana kapag kaya ko nang bumili ng sarili kong violin na kasale. Anyway, sana dumami pa yung mga Pilipino kagaya ninyo na nagpo-produce ng mga high quality content. Thank you so much sa pag-aabang sa mga videos. For sure, meron pa pa kami mga promotions in the future that you can certainly take advantage of. We also have one from Lan Hikari. Sana po extended promos like yung 2K discount sa Metro Manila, please. Nag-iipon pa kasi, hehe. Pero this August, sana makabili na po to Sir Neil sa Quezon City. Maraming salamat, Lan, for that. And yes guys, pinapakinggan po namin yung mga requests ninyo like mga extended promotions and those stuff. Violin Village is working hard to cater sa mga needs nating mga Pilipino. Now guys, maraming maraming salamat for all your comments. And by the way, you can also write it down if meron kayo mga suggestions for a video that we probably can do in the future. And once again, don't forget that the Avanzato and the Intermedio Violins are currently in promotion up until August 15 only. Now that's it for me guys, I'll see you on our next video, keep safe and take care.